Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you how to install a jar file without having to install Java on your system. So for example, if you're trying to install Fabric or Forge or Optifine or Irish shaders and you want to use the jar file installer to install them onto your Minecraft game, but you don't want to install Java for some reason or you can't install Java, I'm going to show you a different method. So you can actually use Java that comes with Minecraft's own launcher and it's going to allow you to install those jar files without any problems and it won't require you to install Java on your system. Okay, so I'm going to use the example of Irish shaders. So let's go ahead and download the jar file for Irish shaders. Let's open up our internet browser, type in Irish shaders in there. Let's go to the irishshaders.net website, click on download now. Click on this link here, which says download universal jar. Let's wait for that to finish downloading. Okay, so I've placed the Iris installer jar file onto my desktop here. And if you did have Java installed, it would have been really simple. All you need to do is right click and hover over where it says open with and then select Java SE binary. However, if you don't have Java installed, obviously it won't do that. If you double click on this file, it will try and open it with another program. So as you can see, I've got WinRAR installed here. So it's trying to open the jar file with WinRAR. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to get this to install properly is right click on our desktop, hover over new and then select text document and we're going to open up this text document and we're going to start typing in some commands in this text document. Okay, so if you start typing in set and then path and then equals to and then the inverted comma and then now what we need to do is find the actual location of the java.exe file that comes with Minecraft. And the easiest way to do that, we just minimize that for a second, right click onto your Minecraft launcher, click on properties. And as you can see, I've actually installed my Minecraft launcher in my games directory in my D drive. Now, chances are, if you're using the default installation onto a C drive, it will most likely be in C program files, and then it might be in the Minecraft folder. So just try and find out where you've installed it. So it should show it on here anyway. So I'm going to highlight up to Minecraft over here just before the exe file. Right click, copy, and then cancel that. I'm going to now open up a new window and I'm going to paste the directory in there, which I just copied. I'm going to go into that directory. Now, as you can see, I've got Minecraft launcher.exe here. And obviously, this is my games folder and my D drive. It's got another folder in there called Minecraft. And in that folder, it's showing the Minecraft launcher.exe file. Now, the folder you need to enter is this one. So if we go into runtime, and then if we go into Java runtime alpha, Windows x64, Java runtime alpha, and then bin. And then if we just scroll down, you should find java.exe in this folder over here. And I will leave this path in the description so you guys know where to look for this file and if we right click on java click on properties and just highlight the location and then copy and then cancel that minimize that now if we go back to our notepad document there that we were writing the information to now we can just paste the folder directory that we actually copied earlier and then end it with another inverted comma over there as you can see and now what we need to do is we need to put a space after this and then just type in java.exe and then hyphen jar and then space and then what we need to do next is copy the file name for the jar file for irish installer so just click on that copy the file name and paste it in there you can actually go into properties and copy it this way as well if that's easier so it should look something like this on your notepad document as you can see and i'm also going to put a pause here as well just so after it opens up the installer you can easily see in the command prompt what is happening now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save this as a bat file so i'm going to click on file save as and i'm going to select the desktop and i'm going to call it jar installer and I'm going to put a dot after that and give it a BAT extension and then save it. And as you guys can see, after I've saved it, I close this down, there is a jar installer.bat file that I've got over here. Now, if I was to run this, 
what will happen now is that it will open up command prompt and it will actually run this command so it will look in the path of this directory load up java.exe and run the iris installer.jar file using java.exe and let's try that now let's double click on this as you guys can see it's opened up the iris installer and it's telling me here it's launched so let's go ahead and just install it as well there we go so let's close that down and because we put a pause there now it's saying press any key to continue i'm going to click on my spacebar and it's going to close it down and now if i open up my minecraft launcher it should have iris shaders installed onto there there we go so as you can see it now says iris and sodium and i can actually click on play and it should load up the game and i can actually play with shaders on now and i didn't have to use any external java installations i just used the java file that came in my minecraft directory so let me just show you guys again if we go to our minecraft directory so right click on your minecraft launcher go to properties highlight just before the minecraft launcher.exe highlight the path copy that open up a folder paste it in there hit enter and then it should say the minecraft folder and it should show you the minecraft launcher.exe in that folder go to the runtime folder click on java runtime alpha windows x64 java runtime alpha the bin folder and then all you need to do again is just look for java.exe go to properties and just copy the location and paste it in that file which i showed you earlier as you can see there and you can use this for other items as well so if you do install optifine you would just have to rename this to optifine version whatever the latest version is or forge or fabric whatever the file name is just rename that to the file name and then you can just run the back file keep it for your future uses and you shouldn't have any problems with that if you guys do come across any problems then please do leave it in the comment section below if this video has helped you then please do give it a like and also please subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching